Shelley in Minnesota writes, I'm going to Italy in June and would like to put together a travel journal to keep all my memorabilia stuff together. Any suggestions on paper lines? I can't seem to remember any new travel lines released lately. Glitter Girl, can you help Kelly with a paper picking pickle? Of course I can. Let's do two things. First, we'll take a look at the varied options for travel papers at Two Peas right now, and then we'll make a quick and easy travel page from start to finish. Travel collections are one of the only themes I really love, partially because their motifs tend to be just a bit more subtle than what we see in collections for holidays and milestone events. Motifs like maps and globes are enough to make a travel collection, but they also come in handy for scrapbooking other photos since the designs can be used as more of a metaphor, like the journey through life. So even if you end up with extra supplies once you've created your travel project, these papers can still be put to use in more everyday scrapping. But of course there are a variety of styles available, everything from cute and youthful to vintage and distressed. So let's see what takes your travel fancy. Indie Chic is a brand new collection from My Mind's Eye, and it includes the, this travel selection with Moroccan inspiration and a color palette of gray, gold, and red. The papers themselves include patterns that could go with a variety of themes, florals, stripes, chevrons, and repeating tile patterns. But the embellishments include simple travel phrases to let the theme follow through the collection without being heavy-handed. The latest release from Hamley Screen Prints includes this design called Streets of Paris. It's a vintage map print. It's available in several colors as both a paper and a printed transparency overlay. While this is the most travel-specific paper in their current lineup, it's worth having a look at all their patterns if you love this style. You might want to add something like grids, chevrons, or clouds, for example. Wayfarer is the new travel collection from Basil. It features splashes of color on antique toned backgrounds and has plenty of maps, mailing labels, and other tra travel motifs in the mix. Many of the papers have designs that can be cut apart and layered to create embellishments if you're looking to stretch your budget by using primarily just paper. If you like maps and travel motifs without the vintage color combination, then the original Amy Tangerine collection from American Crafts could be a, a winner for you. The map prints are mostly of the U.S. rather than the full globe, and there are also airplanes, suitcases, and cameras thrown in the mix with the fresh, bright color palette. Definitely take a look at the travel-themed layered stickers and the stamp set if this is your style. Boarding Pass by October Afternoon is a popular choice with a mix of primary colors and pale cream. Motifs include trains, planes, ships, and automobiles, as well as cameras, travel labels, airmail stickers, and maps. There are elements that work for all kinds of travel here, from a family road trip to a fancy cruise or a worldwide jaunt. Like many October afternoon papers, the A side tends to be a bold pattern, but most of the B sides to these designs are smaller, more subtle designs that can be used for a range of topics. Destinations by Simple Stories mixes compasses and beautiful word art with vintage backgrounds but still manages to include some rich colors and a bit of whimsy with polka dots and stripes. The Simple Stories papers are designed to be easy to use with your choice of either standard 12x12 page protectors or divided page protectors, especially in the 4x6 size, making it simple to scrapbook a big stack of photos. The collection includes lots of designs with space for writing about your adventures too. What's Up by Basic Gray mixes travel motifs like maps, passport stamps, and the Eiffel Tower with plenty of clouds and elegant hot air balloons. The badges and the stamps are the most obviously travel themed if you just want a few pieces, but the entire range includes elements that would be perfect for either the trip of a lifetime or just a beautiful sunny day. Travel Light from We Are Memory Keepers is a travel line with mid-century inspiration like adverts for traveling by plane and hotel signage. Lots of red, blue, and yellow on cream-toned papers here. And as this collection was released last year, the remaining pieces are available at a sale price, making this a good option if you need to stock up on travel papers on a budget. And my favorite of all the current travel collections, especially for world travel, is this one, Abroad by Studio Calico. It includes so many vari variations on the map print. They're all different, but they all work really well together. There are lots of embellishments available too, so you can opt to just stock up on papers, or you can treat yourself to pockets, paper clips, wooden shapes, die cuts, stickers, and even more. I'll come back to this collection in just a minute to make today's layout. Now, all of these collections have been full 12x12 papers, perfect for more traditional scrapbooking after your trip, 
but you might want something that's ready-made as an easy choice to scrapbook your journey as you travel. In that case, have a look at the day books options from Amy Tangerine for a small, lightweight book. There are options in size, color, and binding, so you can pick something just right for your travels. My favorite is the small size with the bicycle on the front cover, which includes a set of mini letter stickers inside, perfect for adding titles and captions as you travel. For something a bit more heavy duty, consider a Smashbook. Many of the designs would be suitable for travel, but the international option would be the obvious choice. Just glue as you go so it's easy to add tickets, postcards, leaflets, and other travel ephemera on the road. You might want to add an extra smash pen for your big trip. It has glue on one end and a journaling pen on the other. Or for a ready-to-go toolkit for scrapping your travels, grab the Amy's Favorites Mini Kit. It includes scissors and small embellishments ready to dress up your memories as you glue them in. Okay, that's plenty of travel options, right? If you're not watching this video at Two Piece, you can follow the link to the Two Piece page for Glitter Girl Adventure 18, and you'll find all of these products listed so you can pick whatever takes your fancy. But now, how about some scrapbooking? For this page, I'm starting with a sheet of dark craft cardstock and a red lace pattern paper from Crate Paper, then lots of elements from Studio Calico's Abroad collection. Map paper, stars with small maps, letter stickers with maps in the background, and travel-themed badges. I've also pulled out the badges from Basic Gray What's Up and the letterpress die cuts from Basic Gray's PB&J. These aren't specifically travel themed, but the colors are a good match and they have some simple happy phrases that fit the travel photos I'm going to use. The Studio Calico collection also includes three sets of thickers, this one in a grid print, one in craft, and one in a matte print, and they're all chipboard. Many of us take way more photos when we travel than during our days at home, and scrapping even just a decent portion of those can be a bit intimidating. Bold pattern paper designs are one way to speed things up, since you won't need a great deal more embellishment once the paper and photos are in place. I'm starting with a little more than two-thirds of the matte print sheet, then I'm adding the red lace print to contrast the pattern and create a red navy and craft color scheme for this page. Creating backgrounds like this is super fast and easy, and it lets me create pages really quickly so that I can scrapbook more of my travel photos in uh, the same amount of time that I might normally use. By the way, there are a few map prints in the Crate Paper collections as well, so if you're looking for just a few maps here and there, you might want to check those out because um, it's not a whole travel themed collection, there's just a few bits and pieces that might be really useful. But this one is a lace print and I just thought it would be good for contrast. I'm adding brown ink to the edges of everything on this layout too. Now the back of this red pattern paper has a yellow and white gingham. And I'm going to use that to create a photo mat for two 4x6 photos. That's what's going on the layout. So I'm just going to attach them side by side and cut the mat to, uh, to fit the two pictures. I know that it might seem more sensible to scrapbook lots and lots of photos on a page if you have a big stack, but I do find that I I like to stay true to the, the same way that I would scrapbook normally. So it means I tend to use one to four photos per 12 by 12 page. And I just find other ways to make the rest of the page come together more quickly rather than trying to cram um, more of the photos on. However, if I wanted to include more pictures by printing them smaller, that would certainly work. Now, um, the branding strip on the crepe papers has this little scalloped piece, so I'm just going to use that as a little layer to tuck behind the photo mat at the side, and then I'll attach the photos to the page. To make the letterpress die cut stand out, I'm just going to add pop dots to the back. Since there's some dead space in the bottom photo, I went ahead and overlapped the die cut with the picture. If there was something important in that picture, then I would place the die cut lower on the page so as to not cover up anything there.
Following the diagonal across to the top left of the photos, there's a good place for some smaller embellishments, including a tag and one of the badges. Then I'll add the title here too, with the matte print thickers for the larger word, and the craft thickers for the smaller word. And you'll see that spelling is one thing I can't always do upside down. I promise it gets fixed in just a moment. Long labels like this one from the Basic Gray die cut pack are great for adding just one piece of information to your layout, like the date or the location or someone's name, or even just a little bit of a lead in to the title if it's a long title. Um, but I try not to cram too much on top, and sometimes they're the perfect place for a small word sticker or a border sticker. So different things that you can try to fit in that gap just to use it as both information and embellishment. So here are the map printed thickers, and in a moment I will spell things correctly. Um, but I'm using the, um, the map print for the bigger word because that is going to go on mostly on the white part of the map paper, so it's easier to see, um, to see in person. It's quite easy to read once it gets spelled correctly anyway. And then the craft uh, thickers for the remaining two words of the title. The small letter stickers in this collection have a very subtle tone-on-tone -tone map print in the background. It's not something so obvious that it means they have to be used on travel pages, but I'm going to include them here. That's um, also the same spot here in the bottom right-hand corner um, where I'm going to include my writing to tell the story about these particular photos. I'm just using the letter stickers to sell out the location, and then in the journaling, I added the story of how this um, currency changer was also an ice cream stand. Then with um, all those important elements done, I just want to add a bit of embellishment to bring it all together, and the star stickers are perfect for that. Just a few at the top left are on the title and that embellishment, then some at the bottom right to bring those two areas together with the photos for a completed travel page in under 10 minutes. Perfect for making a dent in a big stack of travel photos. Now, this week, Glitter Girl challenges you to scrapbook a travel memory from somewhere near or far. Let's fill the gallery with travel pages. Thanks for watching. Join us next week for the continuing adventures of Glitter Girl and the ongoing mystery of the scrapbooker behind the mask at twopeasinabucket.com.